Hey there, Lacey here with The Sweet Pea Chef. And one of the things I love about living in Austin is all the great restaurants we have available. One of my favorites is Hop Daddy Burger Bar. They have the best burgers. My favorite is the Magic Shroom Burger, which has pesto, sauteed onions and mushrooms, and goat cheese on it. It is so good. So I decided I wanted to make a clean version of my favorite Magic Shroom Burger, and I want to share that recipe with you today. So let's get started. First, we're gonna prepare our fresh pesto, which is extremely easy. All you need to do is combine two and a half ounces fresh basil, a half a cup pine nuts, one third of a cup grated Parmesan cheese, two cloves garlic, a half teaspoon kosher salt, a quarter teaspoon ground black pepper, and a half a cup of olive oil in a food processor, and then pulse to your desired consistency. Next, season one pound of lean ground beef with a half a teaspoon kosher salt and a quarter teaspoon ground black pepper. We're gonna form the meat into four patties and then set aside. The final piece for these burgers is to saute the mushrooms and onions. So heat a half a tablespoon of olive oil in a fry pan over medium high heat. Then once hot, add half a yellow onion thinly sliced and six sliced cremini mushrooms and then saute them until they're caramelized and golden brown. This should take about eight to 10 minutes. To cook the patties, heat a large skillet or griddle over a high heat and add a half a tablespoon olive oil. Once hot, add the patties and sear until golden brown on each side, about one to two minutes per side. Then turn the heat to medium high and cook for an additional three to four minutes per side or until they reach an internal temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. To assemble the burger, spread that delicious pesto on the inside of a whole wheat bun. Then place the patty followed by one tablespoon of crumbled goat cheese and then those delicious sauteed onions and mushrooms. The heat from the sauteed mushrooms and onions is gonna melt the goat cheese once you put it on top. Now you can enjoy one of the best burgers ever in the comfort of your own home and still maintain a clean lifestyle. Thanks so much for watching. Definitely check out my free meal plan download for more easy, healthy recipe ideas. And if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure to click that subscribe button now so you never miss my new weekly recipe videos. Thanks, I'll see you next time. How to make your own burger. No, I don't know, like that. <laughs> I forgot what I was gonna say. Just to make it fun. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> click the, the, the.